um, one thing about the Gabonese side, um, they do not travel very well. Mm. Um, most times they always find it very liberating to score. So I feel like Rangers might actually have this in the bag when it comes to the Confederations Cup. But when it comes to the aim by game, I understand where Sarah Finner was coming from when she said that it would be very, very difficult to go to the North, um, um, the North African side, yeah. to the Maghreb mm -hmm. side, and try and get a point. Uh, but I feel, like you said, um, there's an advantage here. Yes, we threw away chances, but there was um, a lot of things to look out for, which is the fact that now you know the defensive shape of Ali Lab. Uh, they were able to hold on to their defensive shape for, what, 70 minutes? And so you now understand that this is what we might need to do to break them down. Uh, when it comes to playing away and home, I don't feel like the fans are an advantage. Why? Because both teams on either, either side knows that any time I'm at home, I have fan advantage. If I'm playing away, I have to have deep mental um, strength. So what I will try to do is block lock it off and be mentally stronger. Mm -hmm. So I feel like teams like Ranger, the uh, Rangers, they're getting the, the the they're getting their chops up. But Ahimba is a seasoned world war us. They can play anywhere and mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter what the fans are doing. They are used to it. They expect it. In fact they thrive on it. So I feel like we can't write out either teams at all. Uh, right now I feel like we will still make it to the next phase and I expect us to even reach quarter final. Hopefully wow. this time. Really? Yes, yes. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully this time. Hopefully. hopefully. But we also talked about Nigerian clubs, they don't get to perform well when they travel away from home.